Hello, this is Bruce Tremper with the Forest Service Utah Avalanche Center. We're here on Peak 10420 on a north-facing slope, very, very steep slope. It's, uh, it's always a real dangerous slope, at least I think so, because it rolls over to get 45 degrees on a steep, rocky uh, slope uh, very quickly. So here we have the little bit of new snow we have that's getting pretty dense and faceted now, and then a pretty stiff slab from the solstice storm, and then we have our old friend, the faceted snow. Just nothing but loose, sugary snow. Large grain facets, probably, you know, four millimeters. And then I did extended column tests on this. It's breaking on just kind of, a, you know, easy elbow tap. So very, very sensitive snow. Broke right on the ground, right to the rocks. So that's the basic setup that we have right here. The avalanche is about... I would say a hundred feet wide. It's an uh, average of about uh, two feet deep down to one and a half feet deep on the other side. And uh, he was very lucky. Uh, this is a nasty place to take a ride, a real high consequence uh, avalanche terrain.